Today I am showing you how to make this really cute custom tote bag that you can hopefully use as a beach bag once this entire quarantine mess is over. Now let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your cricket and crafting channel where I post cricket tutorials and projects and inspiration multiple times every single week. So if you're looking to master your cricket cutting machine, go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never miss a single cricket minute. Today is day number 13 of the 15 day crafty challenge. And if you're wondering what that is, it's where myself and a bunch of other crafty content creators are joining forces to help flatten that curve by encouraging all of you all to stay home, to stay safe and to stay crafty. And we are doing that by putting out crafting tutorials every single day, all the way up until April the 8th. And we're also giving away some prizes in the process. We have a huge list of brands that are sponsoring this video series by donating all kinds of crafty goodness for us to give away to all of you guys. And all you have to do to be entered to win is just simply craft alongside of us and then post photos of your craft on Facebook or on Instagram with the hashtag craft for the curve. It really is just that simple. Now for today's project, I will be using one of these tote bags. I got a five pack of these off of Amazon, I believe for 10 bucks, which I think is fairly reasonable. So I'm using one of these, as well as some hot pink HTV, also known as heat transfer vinyl or iron on vinyl, some heat and bond stitching tape, some pom-pom fringe, my easy press and my Cricut cutting machine. Now, first things first, what I need to do is actually download my SVG file that I'll be using for today's project. And I wanna get that off of auntietay.com. Now her SVG membership is only $8 a month. So if you're not a member, I highly recommend it. I mean, she has literally thousands of files that you can download, plus a lot of fonts as well. So I personally think that's a really, really good deal. So once on her page, I'm gonna click on SVGs and cut files. Then on SVGs. And I'm gonna select travel and states. And this right here is the file that I'm wanting to use today. So the way that I'm gonna download that is by scrolling back up here towards the top and I'm gonna select Dropbox. And that is literally just opening up the Dropbox folder for me to download the file from. All right, so here's the file. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna come up here towards the top right hand corner, select this little download icon and then select direct download. So I'm gonna go over here to Cricut Design Space now and come over here to the left hand side of the page and click on upload, then on upload image, and then on browse, select my file and then open it. And as you'll see right here, it is in our recently uploaded images. So I'm gonna select that and then come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select insert images. So now I just need to figure out what size to make this image so that it's gonna look right on my bag. So what I'm gonna do is grab my bag real quick. I'm just gonna grab my measuring tape and just figure out how big we wanna make this thing. So just solely based on how big I want this image to appear on my bag, I am gonna go for eight inches round. So I'm coming back over here to Cricut Design Space and then I'll come up here towards the top of the canvas to where it says size. And next to width, I'm just gonna type in 7.5 and click enter. And that automatically resize that circle to seven and a half inches round. Now I'm just gonna come up here towards the top right hand corner of the screen and click on make it. Since we are using iron on vinyl, what I'm gonna do is come over here to the left hand side of the page and click on mirror. You always wanna mirror whenever you're using iron on vinyl, AKA heat transfer vinyl. I'm now gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner of the page and click on continue. I am using my Cricut Maker, but you could really use any type of cutting machine for this type of a project. Now for my vinyl, I am using Arteza brand HTV. I've been testing this out and really liking what I'm seeing so far for the most part. Um, I feel like some colors do perform better than others, but I'm gonna try out this hot pink color as of today. And what I've found so far, as far as settings go in Cricut Design Space, the everyday iron on vinyl setting seems to work out pretty well for this type of vinyl as well. So I'm just gonna select everyday iron on vinyl right here. As far as putting your iron on vinyl onto your mat, you'll hear a lot of people, including myself, say to put the shiny side face down onto the mat. Well, with this particular type of vinyl, there's one side that has the color and then one side that is white. With this, you can put this color side face down. 
To load my mat, I'm just gonna slide it up to the machine and then press this flashing arrow button to load it in. Whenever the Cricut button starts flashing, you can go ahead and press that for it to start cutting. And whenever it's done cutting, you can press this flashing arrow button again to unload the mat. To remove the vinyl from the mat, I'm just flipping the mat over and then peeling the mat away from the vinyl instead of the vinyl away from the mat. To weed this, I'm just simply going to start picking at a corner until I can get that vinyl to lift up and then I can start peeling it away. All right, so I have my design all weeded out and ready to go. So now I'm just going to grab my little tote bag here. So for this brand of vinyl, which is Arteza, not sponsored. They say to heat up your easy press or heat press to 320 degrees and to apply heat for 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna turn on my easy press right now and set my heat to 320. Grab my easy press mat right here. And the way that I wanna make sure to apply my decal center on my bag is by folding my bag in half. Okay, so something like that should work. And I'm just gonna apply my easy press for just a few seconds. Just long enough to make a crease basically. So that should do it there. All right, perfect. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not, but there is definitely a crease right there. Now I'm just gonna fold it long ways in the other direction. And same thing, just apply my easy press for another few seconds or so. Again, just long enough to make a crease. All right, so this is perfect. Like this is what we are wanting. We wanted this cross-like shape right here. So we knew where the exact center of the tote was. So we knew where to apply our decal. I'm just gonna stick my easy press mat inside of my tote bag now. And now just to center my decal. All right, so right about there should work. Now the instructions for this brand also said to apply a Teflon sheet over top of your decal before applying the heat. So that is what I'm doing. But if you don't have a Teflon sheet, I'm sure parchment paper should work just as well. And now I'm just gonna apply my easy press for 15 seconds. And they say to peel off the transfer sheet or carrier sheet while it's hot or warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel this off. All right, so at first glance, it seems to look pretty good, but there are still some little pieces here and there that are not fully adhered. So I'm not sure what's up with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this easy press mat back underneath of this. And I'm gonna go back over this for another 10 seconds or so. All right, so that does look better. Now, I do wanna make something clear, that just because I'm using this brand of vinyl on my channel, that does not necessarily mean that I'm approving of this brand of vinyl or that I recommend it. For me personally, I really need to put something to the test and really kind of put it through the ringer before I could ever put my stamp of approval on it. So this is just me testing this out. This is not me approving of it or recommending it to anybody. So just take that for whatever that's worth. Okay, so now for the heat and bond. Now, I don't have a normal iron up here, so I'm just gonna use my little mini easy press. And I'm gonna set that to the second setting right there, to the medium heat. Now this is heat and bond ultra hold, so I'm actually gonna cut this to size for my tote. And then place it onto my tote with this rough side facing down onto the fabric. And I'm just gonna press over this heat and bond tape with my mini easy press, two seconds each time. Once it's cooled down, I'm just gonna remove this film layer on top. And I'm just gonna lay my pom-poms out onto my tote bag and just trim them to size. And then press over the fabric for eight seconds this time. I am just holding my Easy Press at an angle so that the plate of the Easy Press is not touching down onto the glue. And I'm just gonna layer a second row of pom-poms above it. And here is our finished project. I would love it if you let me know what you thought of today's project down in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, please stamp that like button before you go. 
if you would like to be a part of an amazing group of Cricut crafters where you can ask all of your Cricut related questions, get some answers, show off your finished projects if you want to, and then get plenty, plenty of inspiration, well then you definitely want to be in our brand new Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group. Now it is exclusive to only the subscribers of this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? <laughs> Go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications and then click that link down in the description box below to request to join. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I am so immensely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay home, stay safe and stay crafty.